The financial sector is the most heavily regulated sector in America. Thousands of checks are written every day, and according to a report by the Federal Reserve, 68 billion checks were processed last year alone. However, using paper checks to transfer payments is becoming less and less popular. According to the Fed, in 2007, 43% of checks were processed electronically, compared to 2009, where the figure rises to 97%. Now let's have Jessica tell us what a check is. Sure thing, Peter. It looks like a rectangle. Just kidding, lol. First of all, a check has the date, the page of the order line, the dollar amount of the check in numbers, and the dollar amount of the check in words. A check also has a memo line, a signature line, the name of the writer of the check, and the maker line, which includes the account number, routing number, and the check number. Back to you Peter. Thank you Jessica. Now let's consider this scenario. Emily wants to buy a car from Michael, however, Emily does not have any cash, so she will make the payment using her checkbook. Emily writes a check to be paid to Michael, and includes how much she needs to pay, say a thousand. Emily gives Michael the check worth a thousand dollars, and drives off in Michael's, now Emily's, car. Michael can now do one of two things. 1. He can bring the check to Emily's bank, and demand the one thousand dollars in cash, or he can bring it to his own bank, and deposit it there. If Michael brings the check to his own bank, Bank Michael, he will start the check clearing process. If Emily and Michael had accounts at the same bank, the bank would just move the money from Emily's account into Michael's account. After Bank Michael receives the check, it will deposit a portion of the check directly into Michael's account. This portion is determined by the regulation CC in the past, the maker would be scanned, and the check itself would be sent to the Federal Reserve, or to a designated check clearing house. Nowadays, because of the Check 21 law passed in late October of 2003, Bank Michael only needs to send an electronic file with the check information. The clearing house then moves money from the reserves of Bank Emily to the reserves of Bank Michael, in the amount of the check. Because so many transactions occur on a daily basis, the amount moved between banks would equal the total transactions that occurred between Bank Michael and Bank Emily. The check or the electronic check is then sent to Bank Emily, and is processed once again. Bank Emily then removes the $1,000 from Emily's account. This process may take a couple days, but with recent technological advances, the entire procedure may be completed within a day.